I've noticed with Prince Harry, all he seems to do <laughs> recently is open up a can of worms and eat the things himself. Everything literally backfires on him big time. So anyway, this book he's releasing on Tuesday, and by the way, I think it was done on purpose. Not mistakenly sold in Spain. It was so the media can get hold of it, give us snippets, and make us want more. It's a clever sales ploy, it really is. Because this book is going to sell loads and make him and his boss, Meghan Markle, a load of money, so she'll be happy. So let's forget about all the other revelations in the book for the moment and concentrate on his statement saying that he killed 25 members of the Taliban while he was in Afghanistan. A lot of ex-squaddies have come out and condemned him for this statement, but please be under no illusion. Squaddies don't talk about their kills, the lives they've taken in combat, because it's something to do with some code, honour, uh, rules of war. It's nothing to do with that. It's all to do with your image. Now, any true squaddy serving and veteran worth their salt wouldn't lie about their service anyway, because they get found out and it's very embarrassing. And when they do lie and get caught out, they get called Walter Mitties. So in a nutshell, a good honest squaddy won't tell you how many people he has killed in combat because he doesn't want to come over as some sort of uh, Rambo-esque <laughs> killing machine. It's not the image that British soldiers want for themselves. Now, of course, during my time in the army, the Iraq and Afghanistan conflicts were still raging. I did time in Ulster. And whether I took lives or not, nobody will ever know but me. And the reason I won't tell you is because I don't want to be seen as a cock. And yes, I have seen squaddies brag about their kill counts in Afghanistan and Iraq. And they do come over as very arrogant, very sure of themselves, and not the kind of people you want to hang around with. So it's all about self-image. Like I said, it's nothing to do with uh, some honour code, uh, battlefield rules, um, war. It's nothing to do with that. Like we have respect for the Taliban anyway, because the Taliban are scum. I mean, the hypocrisy of the Taliban anyway. I mean, this whole Harry book, Taliban nonsense, is just comedy gold in my view. You've got the Taliban come out now. Um, on Twitter, the uh, senior Taliban commander, Anas Haqqani, has tweeted, Mr. Harry, the ones you killed were not chess pieces. I don't know why I'm doing that voice. In fact, I do know because uh, they're villains, aren't they? The Taliban are classical Bond-type villains. Anyway, he goes, The ones you killed were not chess pieces. They were humans. They had families who were waiting for their return. Among the killers of Afghans, not many have your decency to reveal their conscience and confess their war crimes. <laughs> I don't know why I laughed there in such an evil manner, but the Taliban are generally evil. Now, for the Taliban to call out Prince Harry for war crimes, how low do you have to be in life for the Taliban? I mean, the hypocrisy of the Taliban as well. These are people, I mean, this guy... This douchebag, this Taliban douchebag, goes on about um, his soldiers being human beings. The Taliban rule Afghanistan with an iron fist. They treat their own people like cattle, especially women. Women have no rights. They have to cover them up. They, they I don't know, they, they walk funny and they get stoned to death. Human rights abuses are rife in Afghanistan. And for the Taliban to come out and condemn Harry... <laughs> Prince Harry. I mean, this is what Meghan Markle's reduced Harry to, to this. Being, um... <laughs> Jeez. I'm starting to feel sorry for him. Should I feel sorry for him? The Taliban are calling him out for war crimes and for uh, dehumanising their own um, barbaric soldiers. <laughs> Jesus. You can't make this shit up. Whatever next. But yes, I am buying this book. It's been delivered on Tuesday and I'm doing it because I want to do a deep dive into it, make a video and present it to you. I mean, what the hell has... I mean, I know it takes two to tango, but what the hell has Meghan Markle done to this boy? She's reduced him from 
you know, everyone's favourite royal, war hero, kind of. But there's people coming out of the woodwork, um, colleagues he served with in Afghanistan, saying he didn't take anyone's life. They're all ganging up on him. They're saying he's a liar, a Walter Mitty. Goodness gracious me. Anyway, that's my video. Uh, <laughs> there's more to come on this, I promise you. Let me know what you think in the comments, and until the next time, Roger Trout.